what's up everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video we are going to be talking about this absolutely beautiful philodendron called as the philodendron sun red now when the new leaves tend to come out on these philodendrons they tend to come out completely bright red in color but eventually just start to fade off in green so this is a couple of uh, weeks old so you can see there is still a little bit of reddishness on the leaves but eventually they will start to fade like this and then they will turn completely green like this absolutely beautiful color changing philodendron you can definitely add it in your collection if you are a beginner the very low maintenance and fuss free plants so let's start off with the light now because they have this beautiful color they prefer a good amount of indirect bright light you can even offer early morning uh, direct sunlight before 9 a.m. is absolutely fine but do not keep them in afternoon direct sunlight otherwise the leaves will get burnt or they will bleach out talking about watering whenever you see around one to two inch of the upper layer of soil is dry go ahead and do a complete watering until the water starts passing through the drain hole They do not like to be sitting in dry soil for a very long time. Philodendrons are not drought tolerant plant. These are tropical plants uh, that prefer warmer and humid environment. Not extremely humid, but average humidity is absolutely fine. They will do well in a temperature that is between 18 degrees Celsius all the way up to 35, 36 degrees Celsius. Uh, they cannot handle frost. They cannot handle too low of the temperature or very high temperature. They are more of a plant that tends to grow in their tropical environment, which is warm and humid. Uh, summer is their growing period winter is their i wouldn't say a complete dormancy but they tend to slow down their growth so during summers you can use uh, any kind of fertilizer whether it's wormy compost compost or seaweed liquid fertilizer any one can be used but during winters please don't use any fertilizers they're not very heavy feeding plants so once a month during the summer season which is their growing season you can go ahead and add some fertilizers a philodendron sunred is a self header it is nor a climber nor a crawler it is a self header so in order to propagate them they will start putting out offshoots you can kind of separate those offshoots the philodendrons ideally don't get affected with pest it's ideally the spider mites that tend to attack uh, the underneath of the leaves so always do a visual check once in two weeks or once in three weeks uh, turn the leaves and check if there is any pest issues if there is you'll have to go with the neem oil solution uh, philodendrons are toxic plants so ensure that you're keeping the plants away from the reach of small children and pets if the leaves are ingested it can be quite toxic so ensure you're being careful with that now talking about the soil mix uh, philodendrons prefer loose porous and well draining soil mix so i prefer to go with a mix of coco peat garden soil and sand coco peat is going to retain a slight amount of moisture garden soil is going to give the basic nutrients and minerals and sand is going to make the soil mix well draining because they prefer a well draining loose soil yet which retains a slight amount of moisture hence we tend to use coco peat because they do not like to be sitting in dry soil for a very long time so that's about it i hope that you liked this video if you did please hit the like button and if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing to it until then take care stay safe and keep planting